It is important to prevent COVID-19 infections spreading in hospitals to reduce the damage to high-risk patients. Medical staff must also be protected as any infections among them can put a large number of patients in danger. The government has therefore come up with additional measures to lower the risk of infections for healthcare professionals. A doctor in Tegu who died of COVID-19 last Friday was known to have been infected after seeing a patient who was waiting for his COVID-19 test result. 66 other healthcare workers got infected by taking care of patients. Three were infected at COVID-19 screening centres and 32 at the hospitals where cluster infections occurred. In total, 241 medical professionals were confirmed with COVID-19. In order to prevent the spread of infection in medical facilities and among staff members, more measures to diagnose patients without direct contact will be adopted. People with a simple cold or chronic illness like hypertension can get prescriptions over the phone or video call. Emergency patients with mild symptoms should first go to screening centres for tests before going to the emergency room. Patients with serious respiratory symptoms should be isolated in the emergency room to receive first aid and tests. Symptomatic patients must be tested before being admitted to the inpatient ward or intensive care units. The government is designing a set of contact movement guidelines that can be applied to treatment centres or infectious disease hospitals. 환자와 의료 인력의 동선이 구분된 안전 지대를 확보할 수 있도록 할 계획입니다. Quarantine authorities ask the public to refrain from visiting patients in hospitals and strictly follow the hospital's infection prevention measures.